Hi Pisces, this is Shah from Charlie's Angel Tarot and welcome back to the channel. Cyber Angels and new people of course, welcome as well. This is your reading for the 6th of April till the 12th of April 2020. I'm using the Linamon deck and the Myth Mythic deck tarot and I'm also using the Tea Leaf deck and the Surrendering deck and the y uh, uh, Wayne Dwyer um, Inspiration deck and the Charms. Okay, just a quick note, you can find information below this video in the description box and in the little circle just in here in the corner and that will take you to the website. Have a scout around and read and get informed on who I am and what I do and what is on offer and see all the updates like reviews and interviews okie dokie so let's get s oh by the, by the way there's the, we are in the new system of uh, uh, YouTube so if you uh, do subscribe and you hit the bell then take the choice all because you've got three choices but if you put it on private then you won't get notified and I think that's the issue because I've had a lot of people saying to me I'm not getting um, in uh, notif uh, notifications when you're going live or when new videos are loaded up okay my darlings so make that choice and I hope that makes the difference and if you uh, make sure uh, cyber angels if you are subscribed to any other channels that your settings are put on all under the bell as well okay your first card is um, the uh, coffin so you uh, you are in transformation look at the fairies dancing over the coffin uh, throwing around fairy dust to transform into a new beginning leaving the old behind closing off a face you have number eight so you're in your uh, power because it's the house of power being in your power and money so there might be money coming towards you it is definitely a very positive card it doesn't really mean a real death my darlings so don't be scared anyway you've got the star in front of you so there might be a wish for you coming true on the 6th of April and I know we are in lockdown so perhaps your wish is that everything will be back to normal so your wish could be coming true but not about the, the, the da lockdown I'm afraid because in most countries it's been extended so bear with it and stay strong stay in your strength a new period is breaking through okay and you've got the pineapple from the tea leaf cards reconciliation perhaps that was your wish to reconcile and wow look at this double up you've got transformation you're no longer the uh, the um, caterpillar you're becoming the butterfly and look what you have you're beautiful you're the butterfly so shine you've got fairy stardust here and fairy stardust there Ag again dragonflies uh, butterflies transformation your wish is being transformed into reality okay midweek you've got um, news uh, you've got the letter so that means or it could be that you are getting news perhaps about this new beginning or your wish it could be an official document you might wish that you've passed an exam exam uh, like a driving license or you might wish that you um, would get back together again as the card pineapple says a reconciliation um, um, so you might have wished that so you will be getting news when they are coming back to you it could be officiality uh, official documents as well saying that you can stay together 
that you cannot get a divorce. Who knows? I've never heard of it before, but everything is possible in this day and age and world. Uh, you are moving away from negative energy. You are moving away from rough waters. Perhaps you're moving home or going on holiday. You are moving away from difficulties. There's new beginnings on the horizon. Okay, you might even be crossing water. So this could be um, official news that you can travel. Uh, uh, as we are in lockdown, it could be official, uh, an official letter saying you are allowed to cross the border. Wow, this is a, uh, an amazing reading, uh, Pisces, uh, because you've again you've got the star. Okay, so perhaps you've been navigating uh, to you've got two stars. Perhaps you've been navigating yourself to. Um, uh, move from rough waters to quieter wa waters uh, you've got the wall perhaps you had a wall around you or you built a wall around you and things went to rough waters now there is reconciliation misunderstanding uh, so perhaps because you've been able to talk to each other perhaps you've had official help like a mediator or an arbitrator and he has brought you back together or she has brought you back together to reconciliation and that it was a misunderstanding and that you might start afresh um, in a new place in a new house perhaps that was both of you your wish because there is a two perhaps it was your wish and their wish so you've oh, somebody has brought down the wall it could be them it could be you but I've got a feeling you are letting your wall down so you are letting the one that you love come back into your heart and you're going to try again perhaps you might get some official help and that could be the news that you can follow this trajet or project okay you are coming to an end in the situation and there is a new beginning because you're moving great stuff you found your balance because you've got 19 which is um, 1 and 9 is a 10 and that's an even number so that is a balance a new beginning and you are ambitious okay ambitious the tower in Lenormand means ambition I don't forget other people around you your family and friends definitely you're not your parents your children or your partner perhaps you've been busy so much with being uh, ambitious to change yourself for the better uh, perhaps you were studying uh, to change yourself to support the family blah 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 you forgot um, your uh, loved ones and that could have been the misunderstanding so that's why you've talked things out now and say yes I am ambitious but I'm alone at the top and I don't like it I'm sorry I didn't spend more time or give you enough uh, attention or uh, recognition whilst I was uh, working my way up to the top can we try again please I know you were there for me I know you supported uh, me etc etc you've got the six of pentacles and the six of pentacles means that you if you are uh, more fortunate than others perhaps now you can give a little bit more it could be a listening ear it could be your time which is imperative if you want to maintain if this is in a relationship that you and you want to maintain that relationship and you want to reconcile then you want and you the misunderstanding was that you didn't pay enough attention to your relationship or your family and you're sorry that you want to go back 
yes, you will give him, and you'll be giving your uh, relationship more attention and love and care and nurturing a listening ear. It doesn't have to be money. Now you've got the an angel wing here, and so the angels have been of help to you. Okay, kangaroo, and then uh, with kangaroo uh, jumping back into bounce uh, or into routine that is what it means for me as well carrying a heavy load because she's got a pouch kangaroos unsettled times need to plan ahead yes these times are unsettled in real life as well definitely with the lockdown the angels are there for you and you need to make plans together with your other half if you wish to this relationship um, to uh, s be stable uh, plan ahead together what are we going to do uh, do you want to be have ambitious uh, plans do you think it is wise but make it together not only by yourself otherwise you will fall back into the old pattern it could be time, it could be money, it could be about holidays, uh, so plan for the future. Take it step by step. If you haven't got the time now really, then plan for the future. This is how you do things together. Also to maintain the balance uh, in your friendships and relationships. Yes, you've got the mice um, at the weekend. The mice means loss, theft, but the mice also, that's the basic meaning that somebody could have stolen something from you and or uh, that you've lost something and it's worrying you. Look at her, she's thinking, where is it? Who could have taken it? That is the basic meaning. But to me, the mice are more. The mice work in groups and learn to delegate because there's always one mouse that has to be the boss of the rest. So learn to delegate and learn to work together. And come out of your head and make a decision, make a choice and don't listen to busybodies because mice are just like birds really they are such busybodies the birds fly everywhere the mice crawl and gnaw everywhere and steal the food and they hibernate it and hide it they're always busy 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 so if you are so busy and you're stressed out learn from this little picture it says a thousand words delegate and plan plan how you are going to work together what you're going to do together you've got two people here or two mice here two people there don't be alone move away from being alone let the wall down from time to time okay you've got 23 so that's five that means that you're not quite in balance you're trying to find your balance but you've got the Queen of Pentacles now the Queen of Pentacles could be uh, she's usually pregnant or depicted with a, a tummy as if she's expecting because the Queen of Pentacles is Mother Earth so the, it is a fertile time for making plans and to move on and so that you can uh, pluck the fruit at a later date because she stands for pre uh, fertility, pregnancy, birth, birth of a child, birth of a project, birth of a hobby or ideas. Then it also means growth, blossoming and harvesting. She's got the green fingers she will nurture. So nurture the plants that you make and stop gnawing. It takes time. You know, you can't, you can go, you can't go on thinking and when it comes and when it comes and will it come when will it come 
and things like that. Let make the plants, sow the seeds and let it grow, but nurture it, send it love, visualize it, um, manifest on it and just say if you don't know how to do that then make a visionary board cut out a picture from a magazine or load one down uh, from uh, Google and stick it on your fridge or a visionary board now you've got the lock here you've got the lock so something is being locked um, you've built a wall up now you let the wall down let the wall down okay you are safe where you are at the moment because the angels are here you've been busy transforming and you're okay you're no longer the caterpillar you're grown up and uh, you can fly so spread your wings your wishes are coming true but you need to be open and unlock you've got the wreath sorrow of a loss sorrow of a loss yes unlock your sorrow let your heart sing that they have no pain anymore that they are with you wherever you go except you can't touch them or see them but sometimes you can feel them or smell them or when a thought comes into your mind about them like you might walk in a park and think we've been here before on such a beautiful day or a rainy day or a windy day that's them speaking to you letting you know that they are with you so nurture that nurture that idea nurture that feeling be open unlock your heart unlock your solar plex to that person's trying to get through to you because perhaps you have built up a wall because of your sadness and you got out of whack with your partner so that's why you are balancing now because you've unlocked your heart and your solar plex and you're reconciling and you're sorry and you understand the misunderstanding yes it does bring unsettling times and you need to plan on to open yourself up step by step like the queen nurture yourself open up it doesn't happen overnight it will take step by step now you all over energy is the moon from the Lenaman. it could have been a scorpion uh, sorry Pisces uh, that passed away it could be uh, an other wall I don't exclude other water signs like cancer or Scorpio it could have been a Scorpio okay listen to your ideas that come into your mind when sitting somewhere quiet or when you walk through the park just when you're on your own just listen to the voices your spirituality and your emotions might be more sensitive because I hope you've unlocked them I know time will heal but they're always with you but you can't see them you can't touch them that's the worst part that's the earthly part and that's why you're out of balance 32 23 come back into balance because five is out of balance but you've got it on Friday and on Saturday and Sunday five five okay so make it a tin and come back into balance 55 an angel number an angel wing a double number so if you add five and five it's ten it will give you a new beginning freedom so open out spread your wings you've got a wing so make sure that you've got two wings and at the bottom of the tarot card you have the knight of pentacles slow but steady 
you'll be getting news from somebody. This could be for something that has durability and long term. It could be love, it could be work, it could be something else. It could be a message that if somebody, um, the wreath usually means um, somebody has left this earth, this realm, this plane, and gone over to an other plane, but it could also be a loss, sorrow over a loss. You might have lost a job, you might have lost uh, your home because you couldn't pay the mortgage, but now you might get news. Yes, we will extend the loan for you because you've got a new job. That could be the news. Okay. Uh, you can stay living in your house, or you. We've got a buyer for your house, and now you can buy. You can downsize and buy a small house, or rent a new house. Perhaps that was your wish to sell your house. So I think if you open yourself up, you will find the answer. Just listen to your intuition. You'll need to do some more research because you've also got the dark side of the moon. Okay, so it's like being Sherlock Holmes. That's what I'm hearing. Be Sherlock Holmes. You need to find out um, the answer, other possibilities. You've come from the knight to the queen. Wow. Here you are, you've got the Six of Pentacles. Somebody might have said, well, I'll give you a loan uh, to tie you over uh, until times get better. And you've got the job now. What did I just say? Yes, you've sold the house, you can downsize. But I said something to that extent as well. So I'm repeating myself here, sorry. Summon the well-being of God. Summon the well-being of God. When you remember the summon, the well-being of God, and know that you are always connected to the source, like I said, you're never alone if you have lost somebody. It could be a water sign. It is then that you are said to be inspired. Each and every one of us represents God or Spirit revealing itself here on our planet. Summon the well-being. Beautiful. 